everyone. I'm Melinda Nail Fanatic of Love, Peace, and Happiness Tarot, as well as Nail Fanatic's Artistry Design Studio here in Las Vegas, Nevada. This is our May 18th Daily Romance Tarot for May 18th, 2017. Daily Romance Tarot. Love, Sir Scott, thank you, thank you, thank you for allowing me to receive and deliver the divine messages. The messages received through the cards and any channel messages. For my beloved brothers and sisters of humanity, the things that we must hear today in regards to romance. Love is the key. Love is the key that will open up the picture that you want to see in your life. Love is the key that allows you to experience that which you have been attaining to desiring of and uh, wishing for and love is the key to create the situation the way you want to see it it feels like you're in a dark place when this card comes up it feels like, sometimes it feels like there's no hope when this card comes up. But this card is a message that where you're at is perfect and where you're at is blessed. Even if you can't always see it, there's a blessing in disguise there for you. Keep your mind open to it. Keep your heart receptive to it change is going on from this place there is a lot of change happening in your world a lot of change happening in your life bringing in new opportunities i've hearing that you're going through a deep transformation spiritually on a spiritual level on a soul level then this is why i feel like it's a situation where there's been some hold up some hang up some delay i feel that uh you like things to move faster either in an existing relationship it has felt stagnated or it's like okay the situation as it is is the opposite of what i really want why is it like that and how do i get from here to there well i feel that embracing the position that you're at will be a catalyst that will cause it to change because it's like as soon as you get comfortable with where you are <laughs> it's gonna have to flip up on you life and this universe doesn't allow one to become too complacent and too comfortable because our growth comes through change our our uh self-awareness increases through changes and so the changes are a natural part of life that we will go through and you're going through some right now which is why there's a sense of unrest that's why there's a sense of uneasiness and uncomfortability. But these changes that you're going through at this time are distinctly set in to your experience right now for the purpose of your soul growth, unlocking potentials within you in regards to your perception of life, the unconditional love that you know and your capacity to share it with yourself and others. And I must throw the yourself in there because for most people, it's easier to give unconditional love than it is to others. Look at all the people you've known who have unconditionally loved somebody who treated them horribly. Um, look at all the people you know who have unconditionally loved somebody who had taken advantage of them and manipulated them for so long. And so, um, Unconditional love for the self is something that is highlighted here as you go through these transformations. I see um, offer for next level advancement here. I see a feeling of accomplishment, recognition, and victory. Uh, standing over a nurturing, creative energy and receiving of spiritual guidance that is going to help us in regards to this childlike romantic relationship uh friendship i believe this is a relationship that comes from friendship 
I feel that for some of us, this is a relationship that's developing with somebody who's been a good friend to you for a long time. I feel that romance is peaking in the air with you two. I feel that now you're looking at each other in a different way than you had been in the past. I feel that uh, you have both come through some challenges as you've known each other and been friends and supported one another. And on your mind is the thought of, I wonder if it could be a new start between you and me in a different type of way and change the way our relationship is looking because there is love here. The thing is these two pages stand on love for someone else. Seriously, your, your love life right now is more focused on your children, your family for someone else. And I feel that you're like, I would like to change that while not changing it. I love my children, I love my life, but I would like to be able to invite in some romance into my life as well. And so, um, looking at how I can bring in a friendship that involves my children that could possibly progress to romance. So, these are the general messages I'm getting right now for you. And uh, for more detailed and specific messages on your own situation and circumstances, a personal consultation would be best because then we can focus to you in specific as opposed to general energies available at this time. So uh, personal readings, personal consultations are always by donation. And um, the information regarding that is on my website. Check that out. It'll break it down for you and explain it all as well as my words of clarity decks available to help you cope with frustrations to help you see how um in a depressing situation there is hope for you as you set your intentions with faith and trust and unconditional love in a very steadfast way to confront all negativities and heal them oh so if you're interested in a custom words of clarity deck or a personal tarot consultation my website is available with all those details at lphtarot.com that's lphtarot.com as in love peace and happiness to you and yours and of course me and mine until next time